gears on balls.co.za. What you got, Daisy? Okay, well, the guys love bikini weather, and I know the ladies are feeling very hard done by, so I've decided to please all the ladies and treat them to some eye candy on Dudes and Divas Ooh. today. My dude on Daisy and her double Ds is Bulls rugby player Lionel Cronier. Hello, Lionel. Hello, guys. How are you? Good, thanks. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give a, a background on Lionel first, and then we'll, we'll have a chat. Lionel isn't just easy on the I, he knows how to handle balls with a Z <laughs> on the rugby field, squash court, and cricket field too. This talented sportsman was born on the 25th of May 1989 in Bloemfontein. He was schooled at Queen's College in Queenstown, where he excelled on the sports field, representing border in rugby, cricket, and squash throughout his high school career. He played first-team rugby for Queen's College for three years, and in those three years made history, becoming the highest individual point scorer in schoolboy rugby in South Africa. Jeez. Not only did he excel on the sports field, but he was also head boy of his school. Funnily enough, when I was reading up about him and after meeting him, I thought he was the type of person who could have been head boy of a school. You know, the Eastern Cape produces quality people. Yes, no, it does. <laughs> After school, he attended the University of Free State, where he studied financial management and represented Shimla's Advarsity Cup Rugby. He represented Free State Rugby at under-19 and under-21 levels and represented his country at the under-20 Junior World Champs, where he scored five tries and won South African Under-20 Player of the Year. 2010 was the start of his career in Cape Town, where he made his debut for the Stormers in Super Rugby in Western Province in Curry Cup. He earned eight Super Rugby Cups and won Vodacom, Vodacom Cup Player of the Year in 2011. Unfortunately, soon after that, he tore the ligaments in his knee during a Super Rugby game, ending his time in Cape Town. The talented player signed a two-year contract with Sasha's favorite team, the Bulls, at the, the Bulls. <laughs> at the beginning of 2012, but injury struck again in February this year when he <sighs> tore a pe pectoral tendon, pectoral tendon, ruling him, him out for five months. Is that months. like your breast? It's my breast, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's back in action again and made his debut for the Bulls in August this year. And from what I've read, we will be hearing a lot more of the name Lionel Cronier. Aha! Okay, what? so that's the background on the Bulls player. Jeez. And we're very excited to have him in the studio with us today. Awesome. Firstly, before we start, when it's bikini weather, the girls obviously wear bikinis. So you are my dude today. So please, could you remove your jacket and shirt to please the ladies? Oh, no. <laughs> so it's only fair. It's only fair. Kate, stop looking. Kate, <laughs> stop looking, Kate. She, look at Kate. She's too scared to look. She's going to blush. <laughs> Oi, here we go. Lionel's taking his shirt off, girls. Oh, my word. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, now I'm very comfortable. Jeez, yeah, okay. He's blushing. What's that big scar over here? That's my breast that was torn, you know. Is that yeah. what happened? Yeah, I was hoping the chicks dig scars. That's why. Yeah, chicks you know. dig scars. <laughs> Well, you see, they have to see them, so that's why your shirt has to be. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so that was the big injury. That was the big injury. That was um, obviously coming into Pretoria in the beginning of a year on a new contract. It's your worst nightmare getting a long-term injury, and that's the damage. Now, I notice you don't have any tattoos. No, no, no. I left that for Francois Ochart. He can have all the tattoos. Does he have any skin that's not um, touched? Uh, yes. Um, I would have to ask his girlfriend, though. Yeah, oh, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Okay, well, I want to know, going back, um, as I mentioned, you were a very talented sportsman at school. When did you decide that rugby was the route that you wanted to pursue? I think um, every every man in South Africa or boy at a young age wants to pursue some sporting career, and um, rugby, without any doubt, is one of the one of the chosen sports in South Africa, South Africa, if I may put it that way, and it's just blossomed from a young age playing in the garden with my brother. And any hero or person that helped you make that decision? Um, I'd have to say, obviously, my brother played a big part in that. My older brother, obviously, he influenced me um, a lot. And he also played rugby. So I'd have to say he's probably been the, the biggest influence in my life so far in regards to rugby. Hmm. Very interesting. And you're a very versatile player in that you can play a fullback or fly half. Which of the two positions do you prefer and why? The position I prefer most is obviously fluff. I think it's just the leadership role that you play on the field um, to be able to dictate the game and the outcome of the game. Obviously, the negative side of, of fluff is obviously when it doesn't go well, it's always your head's on the, your head's on the chopping block. As we've seen with Mornay, bad press, eh? So Don't you think he's had too much bad press? I think he's had too much bad press. Personally, what is the hell is the whole country got against the Bulls? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's wrong with the Bulls? That's no, tough at the top, I must say. Oh, there we go. I agree with that as well. 
So fly off your pre- preferred position. Preferred position, yes. No, I enjoy it. But also, fullback's a lot, lot, lot more entertaining as well, I must admit. It's a lot more freedom. You get to do a lot more in the game. You get to, you know, counter-attack from the back. So you get to show, showcase your individual skills a bit more. But fly off, uh, like I said, with the leadership qualities that you can... You can showcase on the field there. That's probably the the the, the reason why I prefer Flaff the most. Mm-hmm. During the season, you guys practice and train very hard. Firstly, how many times a week do you visit the gym, and which gym is it for all the girls that want to come check out this eye candy? Uh, we spend some time in the gym. Um, obviously, uh, three four times a week we try to get into the gym. Um, I know Sash has been working hard with his <laughs> personal <laughs> trainer as well. Huge. Um, but no, we, we train really hard. We train four or five times a week in, in, on the field and in the gym we try and get three four sessions in. And obviously then your cardio sessions on the Saturday when you run, run onto the field. Um, in many sports you see players with a pre-shot or pre-kick routine. You kick for poles, obviously. Do you have a pre-kick routine? And when practicing your kicking, do you go through the same routine each time? I think, yeah, obviously kicking is all about rhythm and um, having your routine... Um, constant and the same every kick you kick so i do have it but it's not it's not a johnny wilkinson or uh cs everson pose but um yeah i do have a, a pre pre kick routine yes do you have any rugby questions sash because i'm moving on from rugby after this no well the rugby i mean listen what the heck happened the other night you know you know i don't know about that referee yeah <laughs> uh, who ref that guy yeah exactly that's right. No, listen, it's been a tough season. I mean, the Bulls, uh, we, 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 because Bulls my team. And um, it, it just seems to be a little bit disjointed at the, the best of times. But, I mean, I suppose it also, it, it, it doesn't help we've got such a young side. The guy's got to learn the ethos of the, of the squad. Obviously, at the Bulls, we've got a, a, a culture, and obviously, it's a winning culture. So, whether it's a young team or, or an experienced team, when all the Springboks are back, we set ourselves our standards. And obviously, this season hasn't hasn't been the best season for us, and that's that's pretty disappointing. But fortunately, in rugby, the competition will, will be waiting for us next year, and I'm sure we'll, we'll resurrect and 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 fix the mistakes we made this year. See, that's how Bulls speak work. <laughs> okay. We're gracious in defeat, but we have a winning culture, Daisy. Okay. Not like your guppies <laughs> down the road there. No, I'm so happy. I, I'm a Sharks and Western Province supporter, so perfect final for me. Perfect final. They're going to be they're going to be playing in the Shark Tank. Where this stage is going to be like a river. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Okay, okay. We we love cars on gears, obviously. Yes. Your favorite car or your dream car, and why? Ferrari F12. <laughs> oh, you're not asking you me. You were my dude. Oh, sorry, sorry, you're not asking me. Sorry, Lionel. That one's for you. I'd be dying to see that Ferrari FF that Sasha was speaking about early in the show, but um, apparently there's some meat left in the boot. Yeah, in but a couple of weeks we've got another <laughs> one that's got another one that's clean. I'll take you for a spin. All right. So okay. when 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 Sasha showed me what what he's got up in his garage there, apparently early he's got two or three nice cars. So you'll have to take me for a spin, then I'll have to make my decision based on that. Eh? Yeah. No, you see, that's the way. Good thinking there. And we also love golf. Sasha and I both love uh-huh. playing golf. Do you play? Uh, and if I'm not a professional rugby player, I like to think I'm a professional golfer. <laughs> so <laughs> no, we, we, we try we try to get in a, a good round every week. And um, the guys are pretty competitive, as we all sportsmen. So, yes, I do play a bit of golf. Um, I think I'm a What's your handicap? handicap 12. 12. Oh, like me. 12. Perfect. Perfect. You know, you stroke on enough holes. And in the so FF, we can get both sets of clubs in there. <laughs> can you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Can get both sets of clubs in there. I don't know if we get Dizzy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and your favourite course? Have you have you played quite a few courses? I've been a, I've played a few courses up here in Joburg, um, in Cape Town as well. I've, in Cape Town, when I was down there, I, I enjoyed Arabella Golf Estate. It was an awesome course to play on. And then up here in Joburg, I prefer playing on Serengeti. So it's a beautiful course. Yeah. Um, I don't play too well there, but it's nice nice to be out there on a on the off day. Couldn't agree more. Golf balls. I think we need to set up a little gears. Gears against the bulls. Yeah. Well, actually, we should have the gears and, and the bulls versus anyone who is brave enough th- to play. I think that could be quite a nice, fun little challenge. Exactly. We've got enough. We've got enough golfers in the in the team to set yeah. up something like that. Well, now that you're unemployed, you might as well just play golf. <laughs> I, I might as well. I might as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For the ladies again, where would you f- we find you on a Friday or Saturday night if you're out with your mates? Oh wow. Well. Um, no, obviously, if we we often got a bit of off time, we we hit hit a bit of Mendelin Square, 
um, you know, go out there for a couple of drinks with some mates. And um, yeah, that's pro- probably the whereabouts where you'll find us in, in, in Pretoria on off, off night. Had you not, cho- well, you've already said you'd like to be a professional golfer, but putting that aside, had you not chosen rugby for your career, what would you be doing now? Jeez, uh, that's a tough one. I don't know. I've never really thought of that. Rugby is my passion, but um, I wouldn't like to be sitting behind a desk um, in the office. But um, I'm actually enjoying it yeah, right here in the studio. <laughs> that would be good fun. <laughs> it's not so bad in here. Okay, that's, that's me done. Do you have anything more to ask? Uh, where, I mean, you've had all these injuries. When do you start training again in earnest? Are you 100% fit? Are you ready to go? I'm 100% fit again, just really excited to get a bit of game time. Obviously, this year has been, been limited on that space. But um, we start on the 19th of November with pre-season again. Ready so for Super 15. For Super 15 next year. So we'll be at work again, so we've got a little break now. But I'm 100% fit and ready to go and keen to get onto the field in, in 2013. And Lionel, I mean, listen, fullback and fly off your two preferred positions. You've got... Zane Kirshner, you've got Mornay staying in, in, in the squad, those kind of things. must be also pretty difficult to try and get some game time with such a high-quality uh, squad of people. Oh, Sasha, absolutely. It's, um, it's really tough um, competing with them, but also you've got to learn from them. And sure. I, I believe once, once you can top that and you can, you can get in above them or you know, get your opportunity when they finish, then I'm sh- pretty sure you'll be at, at Springbok level, if not at international level. So... Yeah, that's my, my goal and vision is to try and try and get up there and, and, and produce produce what I can produce. So that's exciting, yes. Yeah, without a doubt. Excellent, Daisy. And then just finally, your Twitter handle for people who want to follow you on Twitter. Um, it's uh, at Lionel Cronier, um, where the R and the O is, it's just replaced with a one and a zero, obviously. It's because I play flower, so I worked we, that in there. Very, very clever. clever. Um, there I didn't go, pick you know? that up, eh? I picked yeah. it up now. There we go. So check it out. We'll retweet it uh, all as well. I can't believe you took your shirt off. Well done, Thank Daisy. you so That's much. Thanks for being no, they really sport. made me sweat. Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> my arms tucked in. Yeah. That is so, very... Um, no, it was all for good fun and thanks for having me. Exactly. Brilliant. Thanks very much for being in here and uh, good luck for the uh, future season 2013. There we go. That's Daisy's uh, Double Ds for Tuesday. Ooh. What's tomorrow? Oh, no. It's, it's uh, the dot spot tomorrow. Dotty and dildos. Indeed. Half past one. Don't miss it. Gears on bulls.co.za with Sasha Martinengo. He's kept himself out of trouble. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time.